Okay, who do we have here? Is it Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Johnson, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, Wendy. that's good. That's good. What did you do to your hair? It looks so nice. Did you curl it today? Oh my God, you look so bright and cheery. Well, thank you so much, Mr. That's Johnson. That's good. How's your week go? It's been a little bit draggy. Oh, a little bit draggy. You know yes. what? It comes and it goes, girl. I can tell you from experience, you know, it's just like the clouds. <laughs> It'll roll by, okay? True. Let's I, look I at what that. you're here for, and that is the loan for the house. Did you yes. pick that house out yourself? I know you sent us a picture of the house. I did pick up the house by my house or by myself. So anyway, did you pick out that house yourself? Yes, I did. Oh my I God, did. it's so pretty. It is. Wow. My and favorite the, color. Yes, it is. It's yeah. really, you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, my mother's favorite color too. Oh, really? That's what caught my eye. It was so lovely. And I love the backyard and everything, but enough about me. Listen, this house has quite a bit of equity in it. Yes, and that's what I like. The previous owner, this is really kept it up really nice and right a, you know it's it's a pet free house a pet free pet free they don't they didn't have any cats or anything so you don't have the smells and whatnot oh, everything's okay. fresh <laughs> and smelling fresh and whatever mm -hmm. now if i remember you have what about five six kids i have four kids four kids mm -hmm. that's right that's yes. right where is my head <laughs> I'm looking at and your file right here. And all their names start with the letter J, by the way. Get out of I'm here. Serious. I'm That's serious. That's almost like like George Foreman. You, you remember George Foreman? Yeah, I he actually do. He named all his kids like George and Georgette and yes. Georgina. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that. But enough about George. <laughs> okay. Listen, this house is fabulous. Good choice. And let me see. I'll give you a high five, but I can't reach over the desk right now. I'm kind oh, of a bit of arthritis. It's okay. It's all right. Listen, I have ran this by the bank examiner and uh -huh. I have some news. Okay. Okay. So everything was going well. We were checking everything out okay. and we ran into a little bit of a snag, but you know, maybe we can straighten that out. I'm going to just ask you a few questions. You don't mind, do you? No, I don't. Okay. As far as when we asked how many repossessions you had, you only marked that you might have had two. Okay. One that you didn't recall. And when we looked at your credit report, we saw that when you were living in another state, you had like three other car repossessions. Oh my goodness. That is not true. Well, th I... we can only go by the report that we have. And, and dear, let me tell sweetheart, let me tell you something. These things go south sometimes all the time. So you can't rely on them. You know, maybe it's just the glitch. But we have to look at everything, okay? Okay, but now Mr. let's Johnson, get past this okay. because I really want to move on here and get to the meat of why we're here. Now, um, so when we ask you on your application here if you've ever had a bankruptcy, you said no, not that you can recall. But it seems back in 1998, you did have a bankruptcy okay but mr johnson that was like oh my goodness years well ago. you know what what they look at and i'm just saying this mrs johnson i'm just saying this because it is just what they look at okay and the fact that they you know you said no i don't have a bankruptcy and you know it seems as though you're not telling the truth and we girls know each other we know. I feel you. I, I'm, I'm like right okay. here. Okay. Okay, but Mr. And Johnson. And so it was just an oversight, and I don't even want to stick by that because it really makes me mad just to even think about it. So let's move on. Okay. Uh, so you but had that bankruptcy and everything, and that's fine. Um, we can see if we can get around that. Okay, let's go on to the other parts. Okay. Um, okay, on your income tax, you had stated that you were claiming... 14 children at the one job over at the plant. You were claiming 14 children. <laughs> Mr. Oh Johnson, God. this and is it's bunk. So, <laughs> this is bunk. I Mr. know. Johnson. It just sounds like a, it sounds like a 
fairy tale story. Mr. Johnson, this is oh well as far as come I was on. Just, I was just flabbergasted when I heard this. I said, she doesn't have 14 children. She might have four or five of I only have five kids, and, so, and that is all and so that we, I put in there. Where are you call? coming up with all of this? Look here. I'll tell you this. I really take an anger management class. It's been working out for me thus far. And <laughs> I really, really, <laughs> really like you, okay? Because Ms. you really haven't shown me any disrespect. But you're yelling and calling me at the top of your lungs is really not acceptable. And I really don't appreciate that. I'm trying to stay in my zen state and you are not Helping me, Mr. Johnson, so, because this is Mrs. Hold on, Mr. Johnson, please listen to me for a moment. Excuse me, please. Mrs. Jones. Hey, if you're working and running the floor at the time, which you're not, I am. I'm going to have to tell you to tone down your voice, or I'm going to have to close your file, but, and you can go home and write the trimet. Okay, but, and if you okay, want to continue this conversation. You're going to have to show me a little respect, okay? okay? okay. Excuse me, right Mr. now, Johnson. I'm feeling a little bit emotional dealing Mr. with you Johnson, and your please. issues, okay? Mr. Johnson, would you have to please oh, understand where I am coming from, God. please? I don't believe this. I was having such a nice day. I stopped by. I got an ice cream. I walked to work a mile and a half. I was happy. I get here. I was going to try to work things out with you, but you are so combative. You are so angry and bitter. I cannot even deal with you. So just Mr. leave this Johnson, bank. Please listen to me. Listen. Please, Mr. If you Johnson. don't leave this bank right now, girlfriend, I'm going to, you know what? I'm not even going to wait for the police. I'm going to get froggish and jump all over your back. Okay? But Mr. Johnson. I am telling you one time, okay? This meeting is over. Okay? Please, Mrs. Jens, this Meeting is over. May I just have Hello? One thing that Hello? I can say, please, Mr. Oh my God, I feel the phone ringing. Gotta go. Bye bye then.